Mighty 79 is at the stage of its build where all of the additional electronics are being installed. We work remotely for extended periods of time, which does create the issue of keeping everything charged. We've got camera systems for stills and filming, drones, lighting systems, computer systems. To achieve this power intensive task, we're going to depend entirely on gear that's designed by Red Arc Electronics, utilising the powerful lithium battery platform from Revolution Power Australia. This is all happening at ARB in Moorbank from a system completely specified by Red Arc Electronics Technical and Training Manager, Stuart Peddle. Well, Stuart, while I don't profess to understand the electronics in these systems, one thing I do understand is that I use a lot of power. It's good to plan it all before, have a think about all the different things that you want to run, add that all together so that the end result is exactly what you're looking for. So a family that wants to head up the coast and they have their favourite camping spot, they're going to need a different system to someone that is touring the middle of Australia following the early explorers. Yeah, absolutely. If you're stopping in one spot and you're not wanting to drive anywhere for the period that you're camping there, then you're going to need some solar panels to help supplement the amount of power you're using from the batteries. If you're travelling day in, day out on a track across the desert, then you're going to need a better charging system from the vehicle to be recovering the batteries while you drive. In your case, it's a, an extreme power usage, so you're going to have a combination of both. AGM batteries can only go so far. We're on to the lithiums now. With the lithium batteries from Revolution Power Australia, you can basically discharge 100% of their amp hours out of the battery with any lead acid type battery. The deeper you discharge them, less number of cycles you'll get from that battery. Lithium batteries like these ones, it's not such a big concern. So this is a, a really well suited application for lithium battery, where you're needing them to be able to discharge all that, that way down and do it reliably. So the way that this is set up is we've got the start battery under the bonnet, which is the standard Toyota start battery, and that is charged by the vehicle alternator. Then we've put in a large capacity AGM battery, which is charged by a Red Arc BCDC 1225. That gives you the ability to run your additional accessories in the cab. That also gives you the ability that if the start battery failure occurs, you can actually start your vehicle from the auxiliary under the bonnet as well. Then we've got the separated workspace or service body in the back here. So that's things like your inverter, your fridge, your lighting that you use while you're working and of course all your charging equipment for your camera gear and so on. And that's all managed by a Red Arc battery management system, the Manager 30. So the top of the service body is completely dedicated to solar. We've got two 150 watt panels. Now I learned something today. If you have something covering part of the panel, you are losing major components of that panel. With any of the rigid type panels, you can virtually knock out the whole panel's output just from covering a very small area with the, the shadow of your hand across it. So Red Vision is specifically designed to centralise all of the power distribution, the protection and the control for exactly this type of application where you have relatively complex electrical systems that you need to simplify to uh, make it user friendly and bring all the information to the user's fingertips so that it's all in one place. Red Vision has the main distribution box where your power is distributed from your battery to the loads throughout the vehicle. But at the moment, like all these wires, uh, I understand lenses and cameras and uh, drones and lighting systems and I understand what aperture you should use and I've got no idea about this stuff. Well, and that's the good thing. Once this is all wired up, effectively this one loom goes to that box and all you need to look at is the display and know that everything's okay. So the ultimate question, Stuart, can I brew a coffee in this truck? Mate, you'll be able to put the Bialetti away in the drawer and you can brew a coffee wherever you are, the middle of the Simpson, up the Cape, in the middle of nowhere, you'll be sorted. So to follow the build of the Mighty 79, stay tuned to ARB's Instagram and Facebook pages and read the full story in ARB's 4x4 Culture Magazine.